We shot episode seven at WFMU in New Jersey as the second shoot that we did, because that was a, actually one of those dual uh, use kind of things. We were invited to play on WFMU uh, by DJ Julie Dark. And then we decided, oh, maybe we'll shoot a little episode there where we have a little bit of a meltdown, because it's going to be the season finale. So all of the things that have been happening up until then, to, to Lisa, to the band, to all the members, and it could all come to a boiling point that night, and she can just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm, uh, why am I even doing this? Just, I, I quit. And she flips out on the air. WFMU, I've actually been on many times, either, I, I think it was Requiem in White and Morsa Politica. We played like an acoustic set uh, a couple times. So they, they've been really great to us. We, we've had a nice relationship with them for a long time. So Julie had been wondering what, you know, she hadn't heard from me in a couple of years. And then she was kind of wondering, like, she emailed me and said, what have you been doing? And I said, oh, I have this new band. She said, I'd love to have you guys on. I said, I don't have a band put together right now. It's just a recording. It's basically just a band we put together to record a studio album. And the guitarist is, is sick and, you know, probably not gonna make it. Um, so I told her when it happens, and she was very patient with me. She waited for month, maybe a year. Like I think she waited for a full year until I was like, guess what? We have a band. And on top of that, we have a show. How about this? Julie didn't want to be on camera. So she did a real interview of me. And then we actually played on the air. And then that was you know, broadcast for the world to hear. And then Carolyn dressed up and portrayed DJ Dark. So, Lisa, you're taking an incredible chance coming back after 12 years of doing what exactly were you doing? I was napping. I was napping and eating chocolate cake. I don't know what I was doing. Carolyn Maher plays DJ Dark, and she's our producer, and she's our assistant director, and I was hoping that she could act, and when, then when I saw that she could, I was so relieved. <laughs> she did such a great job. She's a natural. We see her kind of getting into the whole DJ Dark persona. So that was that was a fun side of, of her to see, because I've worked with her on many shoots and where, you know, she's very calm, she's very controlled, and then, you know, to see this fun side of her is always great. It's, you know, not a huge part, but still there's, there's a lot going on, uh, especially makeup-wise. Okay, so this is the makeup that, you, that I used through the 80s and 90s as a goth. Um, you would use, this is what Carolyn put on, it's a grease stick that's white, it's like clown white, and you use a little sponge and you put it on your face, that's what I did. And I did that today actually for the scene with confronting the boyfriend. So you get your face and your neck and your ears and whatever all white, and sometimes your hands if you're going to be seen on camera. And then what I do is I use the red for my eyes, so I look like I'm dying of fever, but I would take the sponge and just kind of draw it on the eye, a little bit underneath, and then up to the uh, eyebrow, and then pencil the rest in with black. There, there, was, there, was a, there was a little bit of makeup for DJ Dark. Um, I remember when Lisa was describing to me sort of the look that she wanted, I thought I had a good idea, um, so I went into the bathroom, put on, you know, this goth makeup, came back out, and she was like, okay, yeah, but maybe a little bit more. Um, so I went back in, put on some more eyeliner, put on some more eyeshadow. Thought, okay, cool, yeah, now this is like really intense. Came back out, she's like, mmm. Yeah, I think think you need some more. So after a few rounds, we finally had to call somebody else in to really paint my face like a fence. It gave me, yet again, a, a deeper appreciation for all of our wonderful actors uh, who are on the show and all the great work that they do over and over and over and over again. Um, it was also just a lot of fun to dress up and pretend to be a DJ for a day. And also AD. I think ADing in costume was probably my favorite part of that. And we shot the inside of the lobby when I walk in and my stalker intern sees me and wants me to sign an autograph but then he's like, you look different than I remember. And I'm like, because that's all you get now when you're older. People look at you and like, you know, I used to have hair down to here. I was 98 pounds. I was like an ingenue. And people look at me now and they're like, you look different. <laughs> like,
Like, yeah, no shit, I look different. I'm like 20 years older and 40 pounds heavier, and I'm just a whole different person. You know, I'm, I'm, I do different things now. So um, then we shot the exterior, but it's completely a different spot. We shot it in Queens, whereas the interior of FMU is in New Jersey. So we had to fake the exterior, and it's just sort of like this um, loft. End of the season. So we'll, what's going to happen next season? Because she fired all of them, so now she has to go back and find them again, or move on to the next she, band. Did she have to? put the band back together. She might have to put the band back together again, start again. I mean, she's a great, she's a great producer and a great uh, assistant director. And then when she got into the scene, I was like, oh, she can act, yay. <laughs> Carolyn Maher. Carolyn Maher. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? Carolyn Maher. Um, why can't I say that?